Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dr. McFarland and I'm going to show you a Reaper tutorial today on how to use the timeline selection to see how long your song is or maybe how long your chorus is or anything like that. So up here in the top right hand corner we can see selection and we can also choose by right clicking. We can see use ruler time unit and we can see it in minutes and seconds, measures and beats, seconds, samples, hours, minutes, seconds, frames, and so on. So there's so many times, and this is the reason why I'm making this video, is a lot of times in a production, I want to know how long a chorus is, or I want to know how long a song is, just in general, before I have to bounce it down. And there's also a lot of times to where I don't really start my sessions at the very beginning, so as you can see here, I have a lot of different sessions going on in here. So I'm starting this at like an hour in to the actual session. And this is going to be a separate video for another topic. Let's just say this is a song and we want to see how long this section is. So since I right click, I have it on minutes and seconds. So I'm just going to drag this out and it's going to start telling me, it's like, hey, there's the minute mark right there. Okay. Or maybe you're making video intros and you want to make sure that your intro is short and sweet and it's not too lengthy and you're not talking way too long, which is probably what I'm doing right now. So let's just say like, oh, I want to keep it around five seconds. You got that much time. Let me bring it in here. Yeah, somewhere in there. So you got this much time to really make your intro pop. So you know how much time you have to get. And you can move everything around according to that. So I'm going to hit escape, get rid of that timeline. Let's say this is a chorus right here. So we're going to go in and be like, all right, I want to make sure this is around 20 seconds. Yeah, this is my 20 second chorus right there. So this is the amount of time that I have to really make that chorus pop and then get back to a verse. So then I can get back into another chorus. Because that's what all great songs want, right? It's just give me the chorus over and over and over. Now, in the case of this video right here, this is going to be a long video. I want to see how long this is. So let's go here and let's drag it out. And this video is going to be just shy of 20 minutes, which is great because I think it was around 35 in the raw footage. But I've cut it up and, you know, cut out all the fat and stuff that didn't need to be in there. So if you're a video person, maybe you want to look at samples. So you can click on samples. And now we can see that this is the amount of samples that you have in that area. Or let's say we want to go to hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. Okay, so it's showing you how many minutes. This would be the hour mark right there. So if I drag this all the way out. So there's like one hour, 14 minutes, 23 seconds, and whatever that is. So there you go, guys. That is how I would use the timeline selection and make sure it's on minutes and seconds for me personally so I can see how long a section is in my song, in my video, and whatever project that you're working on. So thanks guys for watching. I am Dr. McFarland. Leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions on future videos. Be sure to subscribe, click the bell, click the little likey thumb thing until it turns blue, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep rocking.